Hi, Lizardboy here again with my uh, Briel Altair 8800 micro kit set. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate the toggling in of uh, the demo program from the 1975 Altair operator's manual. So, um, you'll notice that uh, the stop run switch is currently in the stop position. That'll mean that it won't actually execute when I turn the machine on. So there we go. Goes for a memory check and it's just sitting there. So. I'm going to need to uh, toggle in the program. The program today is a very simple 13 byte program that takes the values in two memory locations, adds them together and stores the result in a third memory location. So it's very simple. It loads a value out of memory into the accumulator. It then stores that in the B register. It then loads um, another memory, the value of another memory location into the accumulator adds the accumulator to the B register and stores the result back into, into memory. So here we go. I'm going to start at uh, memory location 0. Currently has this value in it. The value we want in that is the uh, load A instruction of 00111010. And I click the deposit switch to deposit that value into memory. So the next step, uh, the next uh, value that I need to toggle in is the value of the first memory location, which in this case is going to be, for the sake of simplicity, the memory location 128. With the high byte of 0, because uh, this uses 16-bit uh, uh, memory addresses. The next instruction is uh, move accumulator to the B register, which is 01000111. Now we load the accumulator again, 00111010 into memory address, or from memory address. Uh, 129, a high byte of 0. We now add the two uh, values, the B register and the accumulator, which are 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And we store the result in to, uh, of the accumulator back into memory. So this is 00110010 to memory location 130 with a high byte of 0. And finally the demo program jumps back to the 0 memory location. So the jump instruction is 11000011 deposit next into the memory location 00000000000. So there we have it. The machine is now um, loaded with our small demonstration program. So if we have a look at uh, the value in memory address 0, we see that we have our load accumulator instruction there. If we have a look at the value in 128, this is where we um, are about to uh, put in the two values to be added. So currently that is 0. I'm going to make that 1. So we're going to add 1 to another memory load. Oops, I've just uh, made that uh, 129, so I'll do that again. So we see the memory address location 128 currently contains the value 1. So I will now move to the value to memory location 129. So there we see 129 currently contains 0, and I'm going to make that contain 2 or 10. And um, I've stuffed it up. Hang on. Memory address 128 contains 1. Memory address 129. I want to contain 2, so I deposit that, so we go, there's memory address location, 120, yes, 129 contains 2, 
and I want to look at it. It gets very confusing when you try to narrate and do this at the same time. Uh, so now I want to look at memory location 130, which is that there, and it currently contains zero. So if we go back to have a look at memory location zero, we should now be able to run this by flicking the run switch. Right, now, if I have a look, if I examine memory location 128, that should have our first value of 1. If I examine memory location 129, that should have our second value of, and indeed it does, of 2. And if we examine the loca uh, memory location 130, we should see those two values added. And there we go! Memory location 130, our program has executed successfully and I now have the value of 00000011 or 3 in the memory location as expected. And uh, if you've been watching carefully, you will have seen that I examined that same memory location earlier and it had the value 0. So our program was successful. This is uh, uh, quite a proud moment for me. I've now toggled in successfully, uh, or successfully toggled in an LTIA 8800 program for the very first time. Though actually, really, it's an 8080 program. The LTIA was just a handy way of getting it into the chip. Thanks for watching.